Hello there. If you're planning to whisk off to the ski resorts across Europe this weekend, the good news is it isn't as bitterly cold as last week, but the milder spring-like weather will mean some rather slushy conditions, I should imagine, on the lower slopes. But we've still got that cold air with us across Scandinavia, so through parts of Norway and Sweden. Aura has got some higher slopes to contend with here. Not been doing too badly across the Scottish resorts, but it doesn't look great weather for skiing this weekend as we've got weather fronts pushing northwards on strong winds. In fact, that's tied in with a deep area of low pressure in the Bay of Biscay. So it looks unsettled across the Spanish resorts into the Pyrenees and the Alps on and off through this weekend. Yes, more snow, mostly of the high levels but with the higher temperatures could well enhance the avalanche risk. So some inclement weather if you're wanting to ski this weekend although at the moment Soldier as you can see is doing pretty well despite the gripping snow which is probably to do with the higher temperatures and it could get quite blustery poor visibility at Meribel in France but otherwise powder snow conditions here so fairly good indeed. Across the other side of the Atlantic we've had a northeaster bringing well, inundating amounts of snow actually across parts of the east of Canada, northeast states as well. So topping up the slopes here. They've become a little spring-like though, further north across the Canadian Rockies. So hopefully a little bit more snow, but you notice there further south across California, we could see some of the snow for the resorts here. Good news, of course, and that will top up the slopes. For Whistler, remember, we've still got the glacier. So even though there isn't a great deal around new snow, and old snow we've got the glacier to ski on for Killington hopefully topping up with the northeaster but not great weather for skiing because of the reduced visibility and the wind fortunately we're losing the winds and the cloud and the rain and snow across Japan but across southern resorts it is definitely getting spring-like the further north you are for example the greater chance of seeing some good snow despite it being a little gripping at times